Hello everyone. I thought I would do a tour of my latest franchise zoo. I'm really proud of this one. I've worked really hard at filling in gaps and putting up buildings and really filling in a backstage area. So I thought we could take a little tour um, of the zoo. So you come in and I've got this gigantic uh, archway or entryway, archway, entryway. Got lions to your left. Got orangutans to the right. Got information boards right up the bat. That's better. Oh, whoops. Get that out of my way. There we go. Um, so, you come in, you can go straight to the lions. See if we can find a good spot. It's pretty popular being right at the front. So there's the lions. Looks like they're about to mate. Got babies. I made this habitat. This building came off the workshop, but I made this back here, which is another little den area for them. But they don't want to be too close to the people. They don't want to be in here. As you can see, there's one sleeping. They can come back here. Got a little area back here for them. So you can see the huge entryway. Got education signs, got vending machines. One thing I haven't put down are a lot of lights and coolers on the pathways to keep the guests cool. It's probably my next project. There's my orangutans. Another popular spot. There we go. Got all these climbables off the workshop. I haven't had any really issues with the orangutans stressing out or anything being this close to the front of the zoo, so that's good. So they have all the climbables, places to sleep. And then I went ahead and included this right here, just in case this wasn't enough for them. I like to try to give my animals as much, many places to escape as possible. So as we go around, come down this way, got shops, got food, more shops. More shops and food. I had to hold off on giving them food because this is the franchise zoo. So I made money, so by the time I put them in, they swamped the places. So this leads to the crocodiles. Thank you for using the trash cans. I appreciate that. I put this little sign up. I thought this was cute. It came off the workshop. This habitat came off the workshop, by the way. So did this sign. It's kind of a long walk to get to him, isn't it? But it's worth the view. Got jaguars over there. So we've got the little windows. I put a little uh, nest mound I found on the workshop there. For some reason they like to stand here and watch them. I don't know why they won't come down here very often unless it's just because the path isn't as even. I mean it looks kind of... I need to come in and redo this path. It's not straight. But here you can come in and... There we go. Sorry about that. Get the underwater view. 
There's the feeder down there. Can't really see it from this angle. There it is. Now, for some reason, they just don't come down here. I think it's this path. I've got to fix it. See, there's a few right here. Hmm. But I think it's the path. So they just basically stop right here. Come on, turn. There we go. So more education boards, more viewing points. Can even come around. We run into the education board here, and we can go up. Oops. Okay, so here's one of my backstage areas, which I'm really proud of. Okay, game. What's the deal? So there you go. We'll have to check that out in a minute. There we go. Trying to get these controls down. I'm not used to doing this. So I've got a garden where they grow their fruit and vegetables for the animals. Got delivery trucks. Got a truck that needs fixing. <coughs> Excuse me. I've even got hay ready to be delivered. On the other side, I have actually a barn, a hay barn, stuffed with hay. Got all the delivery trucks, the staff vans. That one's kind of sunk, isn't it? Transport. Got meat for the meeting animals. Even got fruit ready inside. Got storage. I worked really hard on my backstage areas for this zoo. You can't tell by all this. Got lots of deliveries. Let's go on the staff path and walk back down. where we were, which is over here. Got the elephant graveyard going on right here. This is the elephant exhibit, which I like. You can go up or not. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? But you can't go up from here. Okay, I gotta fix that path. Alright, we'll get up there another way. There's my elephant. The barn came off the workshop, but I made the fencing. This came off the workshop. This is one of mine that's on the workshop if you're interested. I, I made this one. It's called elephant taking a bath, I believe, or elephant bathing, something like that. The bathroom. Here's the boundary of the zoo. Got a cafe. And gift shops. Alright, we should be able to go up this way. Whee! <coughs> Excuse me. So you can come in here. This would be a perfect place for me to put one of the educators. That's something I haven't done yet. I need to go through and add educators. But there you go. Got your view of the elephants. Got 
can even have a peek in the barn from up here. And over here, there's the giraffes. There's my only natural albino giraffe. That one's natural. I did not get that off the workshop or the trade trading center, rather. Ooh, I'm stuck. Down we go. This I thought was pretty cool. So there was this opening in this barn. So I just put. Just a piece of fence here and made it glass. And then you can see inside. See, there's an elephant sleeping. And I even have a little backstage spot right here. So you can see, got some hay right there. Got a hay rack rating right there. You come in, this is where the elephants can't get, although they can technically reach. Got a loose pile of hay here, which I'll blame on the elephants knocking down. And then properly stacked hay bales over here. And then each stall's got hay. And there's my elephant getting up. And there's another one sleeping. So then come in here and come in here. And there's the entrance and there's a zookeeper hut over here. Back the direction we were going. We'll do this half of the zoo first. Let's see if I can go down this path. It's should be able to. No? Don't let me go down this path. Alright. <sighs> I like doing this because this actually shows me where I have problems, so obviously I need to fix my pathing. My guests are walking halfway through it. So we'll just cheat and go this way. Whoa. Alright. So now we're up to the giraffes, I believe. Yeah. But you can't see much from this end. Get over. Scooch over. So again, I made this fencing, but the shelter came off the workshop, which we'll see in a moment. This is the aquatic area over here we're heading for. The giraffe cafe came off the workshop. This all came off the workshop. Where are my giraffes? Mm -hmm. Go up above and find them. So this is the giraffe shelter. It's got a viewing area inside, which we'll, we'll see in a moment. Let's see if we can find the giraffes. There's one. Let's see others are inside. So this viewing thing, this also came off the workshop. So we'll go inside. I did have a path that leads behind, but most of the time I think guests are just going to come in through here. Oopsie. There's my two other two giraffes. There's my albino giraffe that was bred naturally. So I just put this glass fence up, privacy fence, so you can watch them sleep, watch them eat, and donate money. 
Back here is the zookeeper area. She's right there. Eh, right there, it's the staff. <coughs> Jeez Louise, you get the thing to turn. So there's the keeper hut. Technically that's a way in, but I just blocked it off. I couldn't get the path to work right. Power supply. It's all well hidden. Not guests aren't bothered by the by it in the least. Even walking by. So we're gonna keep going back this way because this is where my stay in the zoo. Food area. Trying to keep the guests happy. It's working. Oops. What do I do? There we go. Did I just delete something? Yep, sure did. Okay. Sorry about that. Got shops here, more food, more shops. Little rest area. You kind of come over here and get your first glimpse of the otters. There's one. Kind of sit down and rest. Take a load off. Watch the otters while you're resting. This came off the workshop too. I changed some of the signs because they didn't apply. This one, this one, and this one I changed. Because I didn't have what the sign said, or originally said. So you come up here, get your above water view. get more food. Well, this is drinks, bathroom break. Trash can used to be empty. Got another lighthouse restaurant right here. This came off the workshop. Hundreds more gift shops. Information. Every guest should leave with a hat at some point. So another sign that came off the workshop. And then somewhere right here. There it is. Whee! I get control of myself. Go down to the underwater viewing. Ta-da! Got all kinds of ruined buildings down here. Look at this, so cool. There's the feeder. There's one of the otters. Here's one. Come down here and watch it swim. There's another one. Here they come. Got a place to rest, education boards, more vending machines, ATM machines, education boards are up here, the speakers upstairs, but you can hear it down here apparently. On we go. Coming through. Which way are we going? This way? Yeah, this way. This way. Here's the restaurant. This, like I said, this came off the workshop. Back up a little bit. 
so we can get a view. Very nice. So it's just got two shops and a bathroom, so I got places to sit. Places out here to sit. Then we come on to the Dwarf Caymans. Caymans, Caymans, Caymans. Whatever you say that. The little alligator looking things. So here's their underwater view. Oh, there's one right there. The little shadows that they put in this game are amazing. I think this is just incredible. More vending machines, places to rest, education boards, feeder. Got music plan. Well, I do think this is cool. The level of attention that the developers put is amazing. Because, I mean, you've got shadows. And the shadows move with the animals. There goes one. You coming to eat, buddy? One circle coming to feed. There's two of them. Yep, feeding. Yeah, excuse me. Don't mind me. So that's the underwater view of that one. Is that trash? Really, people? There's a trash can right there. Come on now. Come on, people. And then here's the wee upper view. So you can stand here and watch them eat, sort of. Come up here. Turn. What the heck is that? Okay, what the heck am I doing? Oh my goodness gracious. Maybe you can get the upper water view here and see them swimming. So that's pretty much all I have on this side of the zoo. So we can head back to... Trash on the ground. Oh. Need to fix that. Another reason I like doing this is the guest view. I catch things like this. And I need to fix. Trash needs to be emptied. Go back to the giraffes. Let's go around the back. This is here because initially, ah, oh, it's floating. How funny. I need to put some rocks in that or something. Initially, this was this area was going to be a riverboat ride. Just I put a big pond in, and then they would just ride around, and that was it. But I couldn't. For some reason, it wasn't working this time. The, the people weren't getting on it. I wasn't sure why, so I just got rid of it all and put the giraffes in instead. I'll try again at another point in the zoo. So can we go up here? Nope, we'll just cut across. Whee! Actually, so let's go over here because we need to see the buffalo or the bison. It's my bison herd. A lot of these animals, it's for the um, 
upcoming challenge, which is near threatened. So it includes the bison, uh, the uh, bongos, uh, African buffalo, the gila monster, and the zebra. I believe that's it. Here's my. Yeah, I like how the guests stand there and see them through seemingly solid objects. Wish I could do that. Well, here's my jaguars. Whee! For some reason, this gets really crowded. There's one just took off back there. It gets stressed really easy, even with this. I have privacy glass, I have the uh, ambient speakers, everything, and they still get stressed out. For some reason, they all pile up right here. I don't know what the deal is with this. Let's see how many people are right here. Look at this. They're all kind of stuck. Yeah, about two ways up. And then right here I've got the Gila monster, which is supposed to be near threatened. Yeah, right there. You see him right there. And then here, what do I have right here? I have the poisoned frog right here. Which I probably have a ton right now that probably need thinning out, which I don't see any at the moment. But that's what's right there. It's the only two exhibits I have. Sorry, my hand is cramped. Sorry about that. Whew. So here's the way out of the Jaguar exhibit. We're back by the crocodiles. My hand is not used to this. It's hurting. Whee! So now we're back by the entrance, I'm near the entrance. Here's my warthogs. Yeah, so the entrance is over here. There's another bathroom. Here's the warthogs, which I put in because people like them. This came off the workshop. Probably have to thin them out again. There's another one of my backstage areas. So we have the Mad Hatter hat store. Jesus. Sorry about that, my hand is starting really hurting. There's my zebras. They're supposed to be threatened for some reason. So I'm sleeping. Ugh. Here's another backstage area. This one's kind of tame compared to the others. There's some vehicles parked. This is kind of like a little village, staff village. There's the hay barn that I added. Stuff full of hay. I upload woo. I uploaded a stack of this hay to uh, the workshop. So if you want to make your own, you need to lift that up. It's sunk into the pavement. Look at that. <clears throat> well, they're just taking off of those warthogs, aren't they? This is one of my simple backstage areas. We'll just slide back on through. So we got the zebras. And then here's the buffalo and the bongos. 
and the wildebeest. I'll put wildebeest in here too. Really, dude? I've got trash cans everywhere. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Got a little rest area where you can sit and rest while you watch them eat. And you can come back here. Got a bunch of. This whole thing came off the workshop. This was very well done. Whoever did that. It's one of my favorite pieces. There's another simple staff area back here. Nothing fancy. I gotta work on that one. And then you can come up here and get a good view of the zebras. So I've got a couple fighting, a couple males fighting probably. I need to go and thin out my herds. These are just zebras. I didn't add anything else with them. I thought about, I may add ostriches in there at some point. But at some point, I'll add stuff, more habitats and stuff over this direction. Because I still have a lot of the zoo open still. Let's see if I can find that other area that I like, that I worked really hard on. Might need to go to the sky view for that one. So I think that's pretty much it as far as Habitats go. No, oh, it's right there. We'll just go this way. It's right here. So I got a truck, got a shed, got vehicles, got here's where all the tractors are. I put all my tractors in here. Transport, cages. Vehicles, there's more hay, there's another hay truck. <clears throat> there's a vehicle ready to deliver a fruit to the various habitats. Let's see what else. Big old tractor. That one would be used to dig out the habitats <clears throat> in a real zoo. Walk through the hay. Got some transport cages back here. Ready to transport animals. Got a big old transportation truck. And there's a maintenance truck. Got lockers. Shelves. I mean, I've worked really hard on these backstage areas. I'm pretty proud of them. Got a hay truck ready to go. Deliver hay to the zebras and other animals that need hay. E let's just go nuts here. So here's the side view of the African buffalo, wildebeest, and bongos. So let's see. Okay. That's pretty much it, I think. Let's get an overhead view. So here's one backstage area that I said was rather plain. Here's the more detailed one. Do an overhead view. 
I'm getting better at putting these backstage areas in. So you can see the buildings, the different vehicles. Those need to be raised. They look like they're sinking into the pavement. Here's the other other backstage area. It's got various lumber materials ready to go. <clears throat> got the gardens ready to go. Got the hay truck ready to go. Got a bunch of delivery trucks ready to be unloaded or loaded. So here's the whole zoo overview. I mean, as you can see, almost every area is filled in. I mean, something can go here, obviously. Fill something in there. Maybe I'll put a habitat there and then just have them come this way to view so they don't get too close to this. There's that other. Yeah, I just showed you that. Okay. Here's where the aquatic aquatic pack animals are. Well, here's another very simple backstage area. As the zoo grows, I try to add more staff facilities so the keepers and vets and whoever else, caretakers, don't have to go very far to get to the trade center or the vet center or the uh, quarantine buildings. So I have one, two, three, four, four complete staff centers so far. Then here is, uh, and then of course scattered out, I've got the the uh, uh, keepers huts and whatnot. So there's some keeper huts right there. There's another food court back here. I think I showed you this one. Here's a food court. Another food court. I mean, it's working. My guests are relatively happy. I can never get that thirst one in the green for very long. I get it in the green and then I add something else and it goes right back into the red. Oh, who's fighting? The orangutans are fighting. Oh my goodness gracious. Orangutans are fighting. Holy she, there we go. Took care of it? Yeah, it took care of it. Yeah, my drag wars are always stressed. They've got plenty of places to hide, so I don't know why they're always so stressed. Where are they? They're right here. I mean, maybe I can raise these privacy windows. I don't know what else to do to keep them from stressing out. I've got the ambient speakers all over the place. They can come back here to hide. So they can come back here. They've got a path up here. So they can come in here. Whee! So they can come back in here to hide. We've got bedding back here. Maybe I should add some toys or something back here to entice them to come back here. Is that another? Is that a way up here? No. Yeah, they got this way up too. They can come up this way. They can come back here. Yeah, I don't know. And they've got plenty of places to hide, so... I mean, as you can see, they disappeared, so eventually they stopped stressing. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little tour of my franchise zoo that I'm really proud of. Um, so, these are threatened animals, the African buffalo and the bongo, and the zebra are threatened, the bison are threatened, the gila monster is a threatened animal. I think that's it.
I really think that's it. There's my lions, my orangutans. I may add some chimps in here. The last challenge I got an albino chimp. So I could add chimps in here. There's the crocodiles. There's the elephants. There's a giraffe. Excuse me. I debated about opening this up and just making this one big exhibit. Kind of like some of the zoos you see now are doing. They're kind of making these safari exhibits where they're combining animals that would live together naturally in the wild. So you have your elephants and giraffes would live together. So basically here's the far side of the zoo. So I've hit the fence. As you can see, i still got all this back here. I think. Let's see what is in. Yeah, so I have all this right here. So look at this. That ends right here. So this is the back corner. My zoo is way over here. So I still have all this space. It's a lot to fill in. I guess I could practice my terrain building back here. Fill in some of the space. Add some mountains and stuff back here. That's a thought. In fact, I may have even downloaded some mountains. I could put them back here. Really? You're going to do this to me again? I don't know why it does this to me sometimes. So I'm going to end the video here since it's decided it's going to do this to me. Uh, sometimes it resumes naturally, sometimes i got to save it and then exit out and go back in. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, and, oh, there we go. Save. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the tour and hopefully I'll do another video as I upgrade the zoo and add some stuff. Like I said, I may go back here and just add some terrain. Because um, I can always take it back out if I extend. Because there's plenty more animals I could add. I seriously don't have that many. I mean, I really have nothing as far as the grand scope of all the animals in the zoo. No, I'm just going to end the video and then I didn't do it. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. So, I mean, I don't have aardvarks, the wild dog, the tortoises, the wolves, camels, tapirs. I mean, there's. A ton of animals I haven't used yet. So there's plenty for me to do extension wise. But in the meantime, I could add mountains back here. That would be pretty touch. Alright, I might work on that next. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope everyone's staying safe and warm this cold. Down here in the south, hopefully it's coming to an end, because I'm tired of being stuck at home. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. So anyway, anyway, take care, stay warm, and be safe.